Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to another video of Unbox Underground. In this video I'm going to do a taste test of the of this really unknown brand. It's not I think it's a mainstream popular mainstream brand in this country, but you can tell this is from Mexico. This is a taste test of the Taza Chocolate Coconut Organic Dark Chocolate Chocolate ch Chocolate Candy Bar. I, 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 I did a video on this earlier, I just I missed that word organic. This is organic. Okay, this is and it's stone ground. I guess they're talking about the coconut bar. I don't know if they're talking about coconuts or the or the cocoa beans. But it says stone ground for bold flavor. Now, I got this for like um, four ninety nine, but you know I, I'm, 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 I'm kind of feeling like a little bit like Boo Boo the Fool because um, I thought it would be bigger. I thought I was getting a Hershey size or Cadbury size size chocolate bar, and this is only. 2.5 ounces so and it looks pretty big in the picture as I was looking at it before I ordered and the bars looked generous so I thought man it's a good, I thought the bars the segments was going to be big so yeah so if you want to know how big a chocolate bar is and, they, and and you don't see it you don't see a picture of it in somebody's hand or anything like that just go by the ounces so and yeah boo boo the fool man because this because well, less than for less than four ninety nine, I could have gotten a Hershey bar, or Cadbury bar, but this is but this is foreign. Something new, something different. So this is a coconut flavored and dark chocolate, and it's not not as tasty and creamy as milk chocolate, but dark chocolate has its uh, has its um advantages. It's like anti anti um antioxidants, good for the bloodstream or something like that, and um, dairy free, soy free. And gluten free, USDA organic. I'll show you guys right there. Give you guys a good look at it. I had I've had this refrigerated so it won't melt in my fingers, melt in my hands. So let's see. Total fat, 12 grams. How many servings? Two servings per container. Total fat is 12 grams, cholesterol 0, sodium 30, 35 milligrams, high blood pressure, people, you're safe. Total carbs, 18 grams. You watching the waistline? I think you'll be alright. Dietary fiber, 6 grams, 21%. Hey man, you're all good. Total sugars, 10 grams. And protein, 3 grams. Hey, that's a lot of candy don't have, don't have any protein at all. So okay, so why stone ground? Let's look at it here. Because less processing means more bold chocolate flavor. We stone grind our organic, direct trade keiko, keiko using hand carved granite milestones, millstones. The results: chocolate with knock your socks off flavor, and gloriously gritty texture, unlike anything else you've tasted. Well, with something that costs four ninety nine, it better. Man, let's give us a try. You know, I often like to have chocolate like this with with, with a glass of wine and all that stuff at nights. God, it looks rough. I expected to I expected it to be shiny, but man, this looks rough. I don't know if it's because it's a C stock or B stock. Got to be careful not to drop these bars, man. That's why it's probably fragmented. But sometimes they come like that, even 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 upon delivery. So I'm going to try one right now. It's very textured, grainy, crunchy. Oh, because co coconuts in it. I expected it to be sweeter, but it does taste like dark chocolate. I don't think dark chocolate is supposed to be all that sweet. It's supposed to have that little hint of chocolate, but a hint of bitterness, bitterness as well. So. 
Other than that, it's not half bad, man. You can drink it with wine or something like that. Your favorite wine. At night, you're winding down, watching a movie or whatever, chilling. Yeah, it tastes pretty good, man. The ground is in. You can almost see the coke. You can see parts of the coconut in there. That's why it's so grainy. Uh, I was expecting something. I was, if I paid like four ninety nine for it, I expected something like um, like um, mounds, mounds, something better than a mounds candy bar at least. But I guess you can't expect that because that's that probably has a lot more sugar. You know, almond joy mounds. But this is organic, I, I, and I know anything organic, man. You can't anything that's organic and health conscious. Don't expect it to be sweet as the original. Or, or as sweet as anything that, that you usually eat. You know? If it's, if it's organic, like I've always said, there's got to be some sacrifice. But, and some, but however, even if it's, if it's a small amount of sweetness, of sugar or anything, something is better than nothing. This can probably kill your, kill your big, this can probably stifle, or stifle your sugar craving. But other than that, man, it's not too bad. I just don't think this is something you can have by itself. That's why I'm basically recommending a, a an alcoholic drink or something. Um, I'll give this uh because it's organic and it's supposed to be health conscious or something like that, it's organic, natural, no artificial stuff. Um I'm, I'm gonna give it a, a 3.5. A 3.5 because I like my chocolate sweet. I've had I've, and then, and I, because I've had I've had dark chocolate that was sweeter. And um yeah, three point five man, but um but if I think if any dark chocolate because that's exotic and it's from another country, you can't expect it to be cheap, so I guess four ninety nine is a fair price for something as foreign as this. It's not creamy, it's kind of, it's got like a chalky, grainy texture. But other than that, it's not bad. Let's see how it looks on the other side. Let's show you guys what it looks like. That's pretty much it, man. Um. Yeah, pretty much it does it, man. Three out of five, man. A Tassa Dark Chocolate Coconut Organic Dark Chocolate Bar. And I'm out. Peace.